What's going on YouTube? Yama Yadi, welcome to the channel. And in today's episode, I'm going to be revealing my newest carbon helmet. You're gonna wanna check it out, so stick around and stay tuned. If any of this content interests you, do me a huge favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all new uploads. Alright guys, welcome back. Here I have in front of you the Sadichi Strata 2 Full Carbon Gloss Black Helmet. Now this helmet is under $400. This helmet is also very well padded and very well insulated and fits really, really nice. This is an intermediate oval style helmet, so it fits pretty much anybody that tries it on. And this one in particular is a large, because I do wear large, and it is the Gloss Black. Now I'm going to open this up and show you guys what this helmet under $400 looks like. So check it out. So I already took this out of the sock, so it does not come like this out of the box, but here you go. Mind you, I added the blue visor here because, you know, I love blue. My motorcycles are blue. I'm a blue fanatic. But here is the Sadichi Strata 2 Gloss Black Full Carbon. Like again, this is the 6K Carbon. It is really, really impressive. I don't know if you guys can see this shine through the GoPro, but this finish is really good. And up close and in person, it looks even better. Now, I did go with the blue visor. They have it in an orange, a chrome, dark smoke, light smoke, or tint. But I wanted the blue because I love blue. You know, my bikes are blue. And I already went ahead and put in my headset unit. A few impressions right off the bat. Number one, it's under $400. It's a cheap helmet. I have the Ghost Bandit. I have a couple of AGVs. I have the uh, Arai Corsair X. So this is not a really high-end premium helmet. This will be probably in the middle of the middle of the range helmet. It's not the most expensive and it's definitely not the cheapest. Now this helmet has a lot of safety features just within it. Number one, this is the 6K carbon. It's made to be stiff, rock hard, solid like composite helmets, but actually very light at the same time. So you have that lightness and guys, this helmet's pretty light and it's really, really stiff. I mean, really stiff. This thing feels like rock, but it's very light, which I love. It also has the lock for the visor in the front. It does have good modulation as far as like positioning here. You could, it has three different positions, kind of like down, kind of like in the middle and full way up. This also does have the little, the sun visor, which is tinted. I left the little plastic here so you can see it because I know the lighting in here is not the greatest. And it also has vents in the front. So you have a vent that's here and you have two on the top which are right here and it does have three exhaust vents so you have one on the side one on the side and one here unlike some helmets these are functional vents some helmets that are out there they have these little vents here they do absolutely nothing but just look cool these actually function they are very very nice also the padding on the inside guys this is a really 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 good padding this is their dual density EPS liner, which means that not only does it give you comfort and padding, but it lets airflow go through it. And when I rode this, actually, I rode this at the track, okay, at the drag strip. I took this helmet out the first day I had it. Air flows through this helmet very good. And with the liner, it constantly is like blowing through your sides, through your forehead. So you stay very, very cool, even on a hot summer day. So this padding on the inside, not only is it soft, but it's actually functional because you do get that wind flow through it, which is really good, especially here in Florida, man. It's like really hot all the time. So that is a really good feature. And what can I tell you guys, other than it looks absolutely gorgeous in the sunlight and actually the finish on it is really nice. Now I went through this whole helmet. I could not find any blemishes in the gloss that, it, that they have here itself, because obviously that gloss is added after they make this carbon uh, you know, helmet cast but it is really, really nice. And guys, the D-ring on the bottom is pretty cool because it's like an anodized aluminum red, which is nice. It matches this little tab and it actually matches the liner that's inside, it's red. Here's the mesh, that EPS liner, so the air can kind of flow through is what they're talking about. I've owned a lot of helmets, guys, and this helmet, to be under $400, to be as light, as soft on the inside, the padding, 
and as cool is a really, really good feature. This also has the pin lock system, so you could put your pin lock ready shield. I don't have it on this one. It did get a little foggy the other night when I was riding because I did not have the pin lock, but it does come pin lock ready, which is also another great thing. I think the pin locks are honestly like 30 bucks for this helmet, so it's not too expensive. So overall, guys, I know that a lot of times we pass the DC up just because maybe, uh, maybe their helmets in the past weren't up to par or were just not as nice, but this is actually a really nice helmet, and I would suggest this to anybody starting off. I mean, a helmet with these features in an Arai or a Shoei or even a high-end AGV are going to cost over $500 for the exact same type of quality. Now, the padding on some of those helmets could be a little softer to the touch, but this actually inside feels really nice, and the build of this helmet is really solid. And for the money, I mean, you can't go wrong, guys. You even have payment options at Cycle Gear. So even if you didn't have the money right away to buy this, you could run your license, they give you some credit, and then you could actually go ahead and purchase this little by little in the month. I think it's called uh, Sun, Sunbit or Fastlane is what they call it. It's a really cool program. So this helmet actually qualifies for that. I did put my Cardo system in here. And let me tell you, my Cardo system, I have the uh, Pack Talk Black. It sounds really good inside this helmet. Now, the best helmet that I have for music is my Arai Corsair X because the way the, the speakers are mounted on the cheek pads, they're right close to your ears, so the music sounds awesome all the time. But I was actually really impressed because I was wondering about the wind noise in this helmet when I was adding my music. And let me tell you guys, I was doing some pretty decent speeds, and the wind factor in this helmet was not too bad. It actually was pretty pleasant. My AGV, I got the K3. That thing is really, really windy inside. It's got a lot of noise, and most of the time I can't even really enjoy the music because all I hear is like the high-end frequencies and none of like the bass or the mid-range of the music. And this helmet, I was pretty much able to hear the whole quality of the sound, and it was really, really pleasant and a good sounding helmet with the wind and the music all together. I barely even noticed the wind actually because the music sounded that great. So a lot of good features in this helmet. A lot of good features. So you got the padding is good. Ventilation's great. Uh, the pads themselves feel really nice. The visor looks really, really good. It's a blue tint, but the visor looks really clear. And it has almost this like 360 view. So as you're riding, you know, as we do little head checks or whatever, you can actually see pretty far back with this visor. And that is another good thing because, you know, here in Florida, man, traffic is crazy. So we're constantly like looking left, looking right. So with this 360 view visor, I was able to see really far back and, um, as I look back, I could see way behind me, so it was really nice riding on the highway and on the busier streets with this helmet. So overall, I'm really happy with this helmet, guys. I mean, it's like, I wanna say it's like 369 bucks or 389 bucks. This is probably the best helmet under $400 on the market, especially if you love the carbon look. Now, some guys like gloss black, white, whatever. They have them in different colors, matte black, gloss black, uh, gloss white. And they also have a couple of really high-end carbon ones with like gold striping and kind of decor design stuff on it. That's a little too busy for me. I'm more simple when it comes to the helmets, unless it's a really cool graphic. But this helmet, guys, overall, man, I give it two thumbs up. Really, really nice. Fit really well and sounds really good while you're riding. And the vents, like I said again, were actually functional. These aren't for just looks. They actually take in air. They exhaust it out the back like they should and you get a really, really solid, good, cool ride in this helmet. So if you're in the market for a carbon helmet, give this Sadichi a try. The next one up from this is gonna be a Bell, the Race Star. That's probably gonna be a five, 590 to 600 something dollar helmet. After that, you're gonna have your AGVs, uh, you know, the Pistas, and you're gonna start going up into some higher tier helmets just for some carbon. So for under $400, guys, this helmet here, the carbon finish, either in the matte or flat finish or the gloss, is really, really nice. So definitely give it a shot. Give it a try. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's not too much content on this. Uh, Revzilla's got some videos out there. Um, there's some other guys that have some videos on there, but they don't really get too in-depth in this helmet. But personally, Yama Yachty, I've ridden with this helmet. I went to the track with this helmet. I had a good time. Really cool. Felt nice. No discomfort the whole day and actually got a couple compliments on the helmet itself so guys check it out this is the strata 2 carbon i hope you enjoyed the video and if you get one 
let me know. I'm going to share the link in the comments or in the description. I'll put the link for this helmet and you can check it out if they have them in stock. Don't hesitate. Get yours today. And until the next one, guys, peace.